All right, Dolores, thank you so much. Dolores Presley, thank you so much for being here um, and uh, making this contribution to uh, Turning Point, uh, George Gordon Gallery's 20th anniversary exhibition, which opens on Friday, next Friday, se uh, September 1st, 6 to 9 p.m. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I'm Dolores Vaccaro Presley, a native Californian born in Berkeley. I'm also a charter member of the African American Quilt Guild of Oakland. We founded that organization in 20, the year 2000. And I want to talk about Marion Coleman, who was very instrumental in getting our small guild on the international scene. Uh, I met Marion in 2002 when she joined the Guild, and immediately she took, she was not assertive, but she had so many great ideas. She put on workshops, taught us new techniques, taught us new skills, encouraged us to think out of the box because most of us were just traditional quilters. Um, just, she was very innovative. She wrote grants for the Guild, for some of the shows. She established workshops in the community. Uh, and she was just a fantastic mentor. She was more than willing to share her life experiences in the art world with everyone. She, she didn't hold back. She encouraged all of us. One of her favorite phrases was, let's get out there and make some money. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I she was our third president. She was president in 2004. And that's when we really took off. You know, we weren't used to entering quilts and shows. And she had all of us enter something into Alameda County Fair. And I think all of us won <laughs> because mm. we had the majority of quilts probably. Um, and then she was instrumental when the Dees Benz quilters came out. Um, and they were associated with the Young Museum. And somehow, five of us, including me, ended up quilters in residence at the De Young Museum. Wow. And here I was new to quilting. I didn't start quilting maybe 20 years ago. Uh, and this was some time ago. And here I now, you know, I have put on a resume. I'm an artist in residence. We met with the G's quilters. We taught them workshops. We ate, ate lunch with them. We sang. We laughed with them. Marion was just so instrumental in getting us out there in the art world because we really didn't know. We weren't, I guess we were just a quilting bee. We weren't a guild. We weren't doing too much community stuff. Uh, after her presidency, Marion took over exhibits. And she had this idea to have a citywide show. You know, most quilts uh, guilds had a one or two day show. And, you know, it takes a day to take, put them all up. And then you need another day to take them down. And it's just very labor intensive. So her idea was to show quilts all over Oakland and all of the public buildings. Hopefully we could get a sponsor from a supervisor or someone, but many of them were free. And somehow a writer for the New York Times um, got wind of what Marion was doing and wrote this article for the New York Times. After that, we took off. We ended up on everyone's blog. We were on international newspapers. I have all the clippings here. Oh, wow. uh, and it was just like, we, we were famous. We, we were famous. <laughs> and deservingly we, so. We were famous. She went out to the schools, the Girl Scouts, any community organization who wanted to participate in the citywide project. They made quilts. We went out and had workshops. Their quilts hung alongside ours. Uh, the name of the show was Neighborhoods Coming Together, mm -hmm. Quilts Around Oakland. Or maybe no. I have it backwards. But anyway, it, it was, was something all like that. Yeah. Quilts. You could look at mm -hmm. the quilts, you could recognize the Bay Bridge, you could recognize Mills College, you could recognize the lake. 
we just went crazy over that. And for some of us, it was our first time doing uh, what they call art quilts. You know, like I said, we were mostly traditional quilters. And we really stepped out of the box. And boy, did we take a giant step. Uh, we ended up in the New York Times. Uh, we had uh, the Potuka Times, where the National Quilt Museum is. Quilts went there. Quilts went to Texas. Quilts went everywhere. And we had a couple of members who were able to follow the quilts on all of these travels. Of course, they never got any pictures taken because they were too busy talking about Oakland and our quilts. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Marion was just, she was a friend. She was a resource. And she was a terrific mentor. She would just do anything to help you succeed. Mm. And uh, she just doesn't know how challenging that was for, I guess, for me, because I was seeing things linear all the time. Mm -hmm. And she got me out of that box. And so you could see what's behind me now that no, <laughs> no straight lines and it's OK if the points don't match. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> You know, we were we lost her too soon. We were so proud of her when she was nominated for the National Endowment of the Arts Award. Oh yeah. And that's something that she really wanted to achieve. And I, we just think of all that she could be doing if she was still here. Oh, but, she will not get out the park even more than she has. <laughs> I know, but but she left a little piece of all, her in all of us, I think, because mm -hmm. You know, never in my life would I think I was end up doing something like this. And and I never called myself an artist. And she was one person who said, you are an artist. Um, between her and Esther Poncho, who, who uh, created our guild, she was from Southern California. And I remember Esther always saying, what you make is never wrong because you made it with your heart. Mm. And that was the same with Marion. You know, it, nothing's ever, you made it. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it might be, if you make it again, it'll be more perfect. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> but, you know, you, you, she just let us all know that we were artists. We weren't, uh, you know, your grandmother's culture making bed quilts. Mm -hmm. And so I will always remember Marion for her encouragement and, you know, sometimes she would just call and say, how you doing? What are you doing? Why don't you come over and sew? Just uh, just a fantastic friend. Yeah, definitely. And uh, it's um, I thank her for introducing me to you guys because I've known Marion for some for some years, uh, maybe since 2010 or something of that nature. Uh, um, you know, just around in the community. And then I was uh, involved with the uh, Alameda County Arts Commission as mm -hmm. a commissioner. But prior to that, um, I was on the selection panel um, uh, for uh, Acute Tower at Highland Hospital and saw, you know, was um, selected to, you know, make selection of work of her and Alice Beasley and many others. So that's how we got connected even uh, even more. And then uh, when she was working on that uh, big exhibit, neighborhoods, uh, you know, the neighborhoods around Oakland. Right. You uh, right. She'd come to the house and all it, she'd come to the house and I'm uh, photographed. She's like, Eric, I want you to photograph the quilts. And uh, <laughs> so we were just back and forth, back and forth, you know, just editing like, yeah, just get the creases out just a little bit, but it, it was just so fun. And much like your experience, she kind of put me on the map a little bit. And I'm like, oh my God, my photographs are still the uh, New York Times. I was like, I literally posted, like my Facebook don't get that much response. And so I have one face, post, Facebook post where the newspaper is right here on my nose. <laughs> People, I mean, just overwhelming response. I was like, that Mary, and she just know how to put people on the map. But you yeah, know, we've been working together for years. And uh, right. it, was, uh, it was honored to be. Um, it's, it's so funny because everybody I'm interviewing, you know, I get to talk about, you know, their work. But it's good to talk with you guys because thanks to you guys and Mary, you brought me into the fold. So, you know, be, uh, you know, it's just an honor to play a little part in 
this big project that you guys did. Oh, it was it was it's amazing. It was amazing. I just remember sometimes, you know, and you couldn't say no to Mary. No. You know, it, <laughs> and sometimes I felt she had me by the neck, just dragging me behind. Yeah. Me. You know, and she said, Come on, girl, you can do this. You can do this. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. You can't you can say no. You'd be like, okay. <laughs> I know it was easier just to say, okay, let me, it, it, let me much do it easier. and get it over with. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, this is well, awesome. I, I know she would be very proud of you and your new position at the gallery. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well thank deserved. You. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. So, um, you know, so, AAQGO is here to help you. So, uh, oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. I, I was so glad I found you guys. I was like, I, I need them in this 20th anniversary exhibit. It, 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 they just represent the various things that uh, Joyce Green Gallery has been doing over the 20 years. So I, right. I, I had to track you guys down. <laughs> I need you guys for this exhibition. So, um, yeah. Well, so happy to participate. Oh, great, great. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, just um, happy to have you, Rosita, and Marion Coleman in the show. And, um, uh, yeah, any final thoughts, anything you want to share before we close out? Well, I was just so glad when you contacted me. Uh, you know, sometimes on my walks, I live down the street from the gallery. And so that's kind of be, that's on my walking route. If there's not too many people out on the street, I walk down the street. Oh, and, yeah. uh, you know, and I peek in there, usually when I'm walking, the gallery's closed. Oh, uh, yeah. So it was yeah. a great spot for me to kind oh, of good. walk in and, and browse and rest and then turn around and walk back home. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not speaking for the guild. I'm speaking for myself. If you mm -hmm. need some help, you know where I am. Oh, definitely. I will be reaching out. I appreciate y'all support so much. Y'all, you guys make us who we are. So thank you so much. You're thank welcome. You. All right. So I uh, hope uh see looking forward to uh seeing you on uh next Friday, September 1st, Friday night. Uh, six to nine. It's <laughs> it's gonna be a big party. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> okay, looking forward to it. All right, sounds good. Okay, right. thank you, Eric. All right, thank you, Deloitte. All right, bye. Bye-bye.